Okay, I've spent a ton of time showing you what I'm buying from my booth and talking about what's selling, but today I'm gonna flip that and show you everything that's not selling in my booth. If it's your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm the owner of Oak Street Exchange, which mostly consists of this booth in an antique store. Here on YouTube, I'm showing you the whole process of starting my own small business. Now, even though today I'm gonna show you everything that's not selling, I'm also gonna show you all of the things that are new. Okay, we're just gonna start with a whole loop and talk about everything that's been here since I started the booth. First thing, acrylic paintings. I haven't sold any. I used to have this one and one with a red barn. Neither of them sold. I'll probably be taking this one out soon. I thought this would sell so fast because it has a plant theme. It's also kind of like wrought iron. I don't know. And I think it's priced appropriately. I don't know. Now I have definitely sold some glass vases, but there's a ton of glass items that just don't move. I have two sets of drinking glasses, neither of which have sold. They've been here since last year. These vases I think are absolutely beautiful, but I'm to the point where I just need to lower the price. This glass pitcher, I thought this was also really pretty. I have it for $8. I have had these glass swans since I started my booth back in September. These are crystal and they still haven't sold. More wall hangings. I have had these two animal paintings since I started my booth. I absolutely love them and I think they'd be really neat in like a nursery, but they have not sold. This lantern is also still here. This was really dirty when I got it and I cleaned it up some, but I think that's part of the appeal. Same with this table. This is one of the first pieces of furniture that I ever refinished. There's definitely some scratches on the marble, which I indicate on the tag, which might be why it's still here. I also still have this print of the Constitution. This is the first of the patriotic pieces that I have. This plate is still here, but I did have two books that sold. And baskets. I have had so much trouble selling baskets. All but one of them here in the booth are actually Longaburger baskets, which people collect. And I have them all listed below normal Longaburger basket prices. But I don't know that I will be buying more baskets for the booth. This oil lamp is something that I thought would move very quickly and is still here. Along with these Crocs, I have a few different sizes. I just thought that they would be really good in the fall, but they are still here in its spring. There are a few more glass pieces. I haven't been able to sell any bowl jars. And then these glass bowls with the metal rim I thought are really neat, but they haven't moved. Including this divided one. I've had a few vases. This one appears to be handmade because it is signed on the bottom, but it hasn't moved very fast. I also just like the colors, so at least it's here to decorate the booth. And my birdcage. This is one of the first things I scooped up for the booth, and I think it's a really neat statement piece. If I do any special events this summer, I'm definitely going to take this out and try and sell it somewhere else. Because it has been in here for months, I think it's probably outlived its time. I have sold so few items off of this bookshelf. These deer are something that I thought was really neat. I've marked them down, but they are still here. They're definitely mid-century modern. I have this glass cream and sugar set that I thought would move really quick, along with this milk glass salt and pepper shaker. Both still here from the beginning. I really like this silver teapot. I've had the flowers coming out of the top since I put it in in September. Maybe it's time to take those out and kind of rearrange it. And here are the other glasses that are not selling. More glass that hasn't sold is the shamrock. I was hoping it would sell in March and it has not. And this glass bowl. Definitely not buying any more glass for the booth. This entire tea set is something that I thought would move really quickly and it has not yet, along with this bee sting crock. I have it priced pretty low for what it is and it still hasn't sold. And of course this glass cake stand. It is really pretty, so hopefully someone will scoop it up eventually. Now that being said, a lot of things have sold, including that white cane back chair that I had right here. 
And because of that, I do have more things that I need to move in today and a few things that I need to move around. So it's time to get busy. If you've been around for a while, you know that I did this back in December. It's just now making it to the store. Hopefully everyone thinks it's as neat as I do, but it takes up a lot of space. So while it, I thought it would fit here, it does not. Let's rearrange again.
It always amazes me how much of a mess everything is before it all comes together, but I did finish and I have a half hour before they close, which if you've watched any of my other videos is abnormal. Usually I'm trying to wrap up as fast as possible while they're announcing that the store is gonna close, but today we even have extra time. So I was able to get everything moved around like I planned. I did take a few of those things out that we talked about, but I was also able to squeeze in quite a few things. Unfortunately, there were some things that needed to stay in the car. I have a really cool lamp, but it just doesn't fit. I really want to sell this table, so this was the priority. I've also come across these really neat commemorative Notre Dame 7-Up bottles. This is kind of the perfect place to sell them, so I'm excited to be able to put those in. Hopefully some Notre Dame fans walk by. You'll notice this is also our last weekend before Easter, so I went ahead and filled some of my baskets with Easter eggs. These are bright, but not too bright. Hopefully they get some attention. I think they look really neat and they're ready to go. So if somebody needs some Easter decorations, they can just buy these, put them in their house, and not really have to do much else. I just brought in this brass duck. I just couldn't pass it up, so I'm excited I didn't have to leave that in the car. I was also able to add in a few other things had this apron for a little while and these salt and pepper shakers. Lately, I've also come across this quilt and barn book and those actually stack perfectly here under the ironing board. It's spring, so I'm also excited to add back in these three planters. I had them in the booth back in September, but it just wasn't the right time of year. And then two of the things that I'm most excited about this week are the crates. I came across these at another antique store and this divided crate works perfectly for all these little things. I have some arrowheads that I've gathered, a few different stones, some crystals, quartz crystals that I actually gathered myself. That's a video over on Laura on the Move if you wanna check it out. So since I actually dug these quartz crystals, I'm excited to have them in the booth. And then I have a few doorknobs. On the end, I have these stickers. I started selling individual stickers for $1. The packs of five are still going over really well, so I wanted to add some bigger stickers that are sold individually. Speaking of, I also added in new packs that are still $3. Overall, I think everything turned out really well. Last Saturday here at the store, the electricity actually went out due to weather. So I think this Saturday will be really good. It's also April 1st, so it's nice to start out the month with a lot of sales. It's also refreshing to start out with a lot of new things here at the booth. I'm gonna take some pictures for Facebook. If you want the most up-to-date information, make sure you go to Facebook, look for Oak Street Exchange, and you can follow me there. Thanks for following along. We'll see you next time with a new project.